Mr. Marco, I have to thank you for letting me know that the flag was up the wrong way. I appreciate you, sir, and because of what you said, I was able to make the adjustments and make sure everything is properly aligned behind me as I represent these countries that not only I live in, which is the United States of America, but also places that we visited on mission trips. And then we also have Canada and, of course, Australia over there. Again, Marco, thank you. As I say and always say, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know it all, so if you have anything that you think we should know, you can share please let us know and i promise you we will make the necessary adjustments all right let's watch this video what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses what's up beautiful people to another episode of don't keep up with the Joneses. It's your boy Ricky Jones Jr. And I am back again for another video. So as you all saw in the thumbnail, you already know what I'm about to do. So I'm not going to belong you, but I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, I've done one before. This was like a small tier, three bucket holder type, five gallon bucket stand. I've since done quite a few bills since that, I must say. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the applause and all that good stuff. And so now I feel like I can do a two tier and I can make it longer, okay? So this one, <laughs> elevation guys, this levels to it, promotion growth. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. What? Promotion and growth. Okay, so that's what you're about to see. Two tier, five gallon bucket stand build. And um, you know, even in my growing, I realize that notes are necessary okay so this time i have a cut list on the last video i did not have one and people were asking me in the comment section ricky can i get a size list what was this what was that i will get it to you obviously um i've learned that it is necessary and i know if you want to do what you see me do you need such information so for this one <laughs> To get the project completed, you would need to have two 2 by 4s cut 12 inches in length. You would have to have two 9-inch 2 by 4s cut. Okay, all of these are 2 by 4s I'm going to stop saying like 2 by 4s after each length. After that, you would have to have six of your desired length of your 5-gallon bucket stand. You would need four 31 inches. Okay. You would need four 25 and a half inch cuts as well okay so uh, that is what you would need and you will also need one of the board to be similar to the length of the whole thing to fit on the insides which you will see what i'm talking about it'd be like a ding and this is the one that you need to make sure you cut out and have it to be what it is and what it will be so without further ado ladies and gentlemen i think we can go ahead and start because i've already pulled the wood in and you may be thinking man that is a long piece of wood you probably noticed it from the back section of my garden yes that is where it was and that is where it is is no longer i go went on ahead and pulled that bad boy up y'all see it yep 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 i had to go ahead and clean it up get it up had to rake the dirt up dirt up because i will use that dirt that is good dirt and i will use that dirt in my five gallon buckets that i will plant my vegetables in so no dirt was wasted in the upbringing of that garden bed so with that one pulled up i now have that here which i am so thankful for um, I don't have to do many cuts. I'm going to go to length. These boards itself are 12 feet. I'm going 12 feet. I don't even know how many buckets I could fit in a 12 foot long stand. But at the end of the day, I'm going to give it a chance and I'm going to see what it do. Okay. Maybe I don't use all the, you know, buckets, you know, maybe one of them is like flowers to attract bees to help pollinate. Like maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm looking back because I'm trying to figure it out. But honestly, I don't know. But I'm going to work it out. Okay, so that is what I have. And that is what it's going to be. We're going to do some cuts to the measurements that I did specify. Forgot they will be in the description below. Also, you can, you know, rewind if you want to hear it all ran down, but it will be in the description below. So my friends, rest assured you will get that information. And I'm going to go ahead and some of this bad boy. Okay. Okay. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel DKUJ because there's so much going on on this channel from DIYs to palette projects to cooking videos to vlogs the movies the, the web series i mean some this to that the vlog the, 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 pranks the, 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 whatever you want i'm telling you we like satellite dish we got it all okay we like high speed internet and high speed cable we got it all okay so this is where you want to be hit that red button turn to a gray button and i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and start using these hands to build my five gallon bucket stand because it's time to grow some vegetables okay 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 yeah
Okay, beautiful people, man, that cutting portion went a little bit more difficult than I expected. Why? Because my, um, my tape measure broke. Like when I was measuring out one of the pieces, <laughs> boom, it retracted and it broke. So obviously I can't like pull it out anymore. This is all I get, five inches. So I'm gonna have to go to the store on tomorrow and go and get me a new one because I can't do any of my bills without a tape measure. So anyway, with all that being said, I have my pieces laid out. Those pieces over there are eight feet long. And then I have my other eight feet long piece right there that will be the bottom pieces. Actually, those will be the pieces of wood that I pulled from the back. So obviously those don't have to be the prettiest looking pieces of wood. So I'll just tuck it and hide it underneath <laughs> the bottom pieces. So, you know, you gotta use your noggin every now and again to get the job done when you are reusing things that have to be around the yard because ultimately where I pulled up that little raised bed or whatever that was supposed to be that is where these five gallon buckets will ultimately land and have its home so you know out with the old and with the new that little raised bed situation didn't pan out to be what I wanted it to be essentially which was a sunflower bed but you all saw the sunflowers didn't grow, so those things had to go. I'm gonna try the sunflowers in the front yard, actually, so, you know, be on the lookout for that video. But anyway, um, I'll go ahead and assemble the sides to the five gallon buckets. Um, and so, you know, you'll get a whole layout. See, like I said, I've grown and I've advanced. So, what you can see is on this paper, there is a diagram, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy is getting better! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the cheer and, uh, you know, the laughter, whatever, at the end of the day. I'm going to go ahead and use my diagram and my wood checklist and then go ahead and assemble the sides, which happens or need to be like mirror images of one another. So I will build one side and then you will see the inverse, mirror, inverse. Mm -hmm. You see how I flip-flop those words, pun intended, uh, of the other side. And then ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, we will have our two sides. And then we'll go ahead and assemble the fronts, the tops, the backs, the side, bop, 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 and we'll be done. Okay? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and assemble the side. And you can subscribe if you haven't already done so. Go ahead and do so, so you can join the family. DK, UJ, DIY, all that good stuff. <laughs> You want to be six feet, but you can't because the camera is where it is, okay? So let's go ahead and get this build done.
Okay, so I got a little bit of sun holding me up. So I got my pieces. As you can see, it's inverted or mirrored pieces. Okay, boom, boom, flip, the flop, the flop, flop, flip, the flop, flop, bloop, bloop. All right, so with that being done like that, as you can see, I use my little piece right here just to, you know, measure out the bottom and things like that. So the, um, you know, just just to do it to make sure it's all even that's the reason why i did not do that last time but like i said <laughs> your boys get smarter with all of the different builds that i've been doing thus far but anyway now that i have my ends i can go ahead and assemble the middle pieces and the top pieces and the front pieces and the up fitter and the back and the back and the back and the back if that didn't make sense to you because obviously it didn't make sense to me i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i'm talking about and then i'll be able to transport it to the back which I'm so excited about and uh, thrilled about go ahead and put it in, in its spot um, that I then may be able to go ahead and paint it um, so that I have a nice protective coating and then you know I can go ahead and start laying out my buckets and getting them ready for my winter crops and so yes let me go ahead and get that done um, and so you can see it and then you can see it done and then you can see it completed and then we could be happy because it'll be finished and then you'll realize you my friend can do it too all right so let's go ahead and get it done and have fun in the meantime. Let's go. Woo! So, as you can see, the sun is going down. However, your boy has got it finished. Let me, um, let me put one down. All right, so I put one down. Of course, I have to put one beam for the middle situation at the top. But when I put it in the backyard, I'll take the thumbnail picture. You'll see it finished. You'll see it done. You'll see it complete. But my ladies and gentlemen, like, look at this. So let me let's just see how many buckets can actually fit in this situation, right? Let's see. Six buckets can fit at the bottom, therefore, six buckets can fit very comfortably at the top. Therefore, I have a sum total of 12 buckets that can be held in my five gallon bucket stand, which I am so excited about. Um, I don't even know what all I'm gonna plant in the five gallon buckets, like 12 of them. Oh my gosh, let me know in the comment section below what do you think I should plant in my five gallon buckets? I have 12. What about you? You see now that you can do it too. Um, wow, I didn't even try to rhyme, but it did happen that time. <laughs> And again, all right, so let me stop because I'm having too much fun and uh, I still have one more board to do, which I have that right there. Boom, I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on, but I wanted to make sure I finish this video uh, before all the lights went off, natural lights that is, sun going down, it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and button that up, finish it up, put it in the back, do my thumbnail, and ladies and gentlemen, you see now that you can do it too. All it takes is a little patience and perseverance, um, and even you saw me doing it by myself, it can be done. Just take it one side at a time, literally, and you will get it done, okay? It's just that simple. I'm not going to say it's just that easy. It's just that simple. Use your noggin and you can do it too, all right? So, hey, five gallon bucket. I think we have it, all right? And you can too. We love you. We thank you and appreciate you for subscribing and joining the DKUJ family and all the different things that we have going on on this here channel. You can be a part of it. All you have to do, hit that red button, hit that bell notification, smash that like button. Let us know that we love you. Know that we love you too. Like it all works together, okay? It's a circle. The circle of life. <laughs> Obviously, I can't see, but I tried it. So, at the end of the day, look at that video, watch that video, and subscribe. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, video, video, subscribe. And we love you. We thank you. And as always, peace. Oh, peace.